All right, in this Soulmate routine, we'll be focusing on toe function. So all of the ways that you can use your Soulmate to improve your toe splay, your toe mobility, and your toe strength. So let's get stuck in. So first up, we're gonna be doing some banded toe lifts. So you just need one or two of your toe bands. You're looping them around the top of your toes or as far as possible at the top. First knuckle, if you go down here, you just won't really get much effect. So here and there on both sides. If you want more resistance, you can just add the second band. So this helps passively align your toes into this abducted position. That's especially helpful if you're someone who tends to be more adducted like that, if you've got hallux valgus or a bunion. But even if you don't, then just getting some extra stretch through here is a great thing. So banded toe lifts. From here, you can try your alternating lifts where you're keeping your big toes down and lifting your little toes up. This is a really important skill for planting that big toe. And then swap little toes down, big toes up. If you can't quite manage that, you can just go for lifts like this with all of your toes. But if you can build up to alternating lifts, that's a really handy skill to practice. Great way to get the muscles in the feet working. And then you can also build up to toe piano, which is where you lift all of your toes up. And then you go pinky toes down first, ring toes, middle toes, pointers, and then big toes. And then reverse would be big toes, pointers, middle, ring, and pinky. So exercises that you've probably seen before, but just done with that band. And you'll really notice that stretch, especially even a skin stretch through the big toe. Two minutes of that total. You can have a rest whenever you want to throughout that two minutes and then you can move on. Okay, next up we're doing some toe extension step throughs. So you'll need one half of your soulmate like so, and you'll be placing the ball of your foot on the ground and the toes up in extension on the soulmate like that. Now, if you need to have a folded up towel just at the base here to cushion the ball of your foot and also to bring the ball of your foot a bit higher, that's completely fine. Either way, setting up like so, and then you're stepping this other leg forward in front, and then this back leg now can lift up at the heel a little bit. If you're already finding that this is enough stretch, you don't have to lift the heel up, but if you can, just start to lift up that heel, and you're finding the point of stretch or mobilization in the toes. You might hold for a few seconds, come back down, step back and then repeat. So we're gonna do a total of two minutes, one minute each side, but within that minute each side, you can also explore isolating the little toes by placing your big toe down like that, little toes up. Or you can explore isolating your big toe by placing your big toe up like that and your little toes are down. So whichever variation you're going for, you can try each of those or only one of those. It's up to you what you do, but total of one minute each side, stepping forward, stepping back, and play with a, a bit more of a hold as well. So each one you might hold for two to three seconds, and the last rep you do, you might try and hold for more like 10 seconds and relax off. Once you've done your two minutes, you can move on to the next one. So next up, we've got split stance balance. So both halves of the soulmate. Split stance can be either like so, or you can widen it if you need for your balance. The wider you go, the easier it is. The narrower you go, the harder it is. Then you set up with your front foot on the soulmate like that. I'd actually recommend splaying out your toes as much as you can, even if that means grabbing your big toe and pinky toe and just pressing them over the soulmate as far as you can. 
That will give you this nice metatarsal splay that we're after, which contributes to our toe splay. So that's the position we want on the front foot. The back foot is just on the soulmate, but the heel up. And then you can actually, the further you bring that heel up, obviously the further you go into extension. So we're hitting two aspects of, aspects of toe function, that metatarsal toe splay, which affects our actual toe splay, obviously, and then the toe extension. So from there, you're actually just balancing. Breathing. Just getting your balance here is great. Obviously, if you want more of a challenge, then you can close your eyes. And if you want less of a challenge, then as I said, you can widen that stance. But ideally you're in a stance where you're not actually falling off or stepping off at all. Some wobbles is good, but ideally something that you can maintain for a full minute on one side without touching down. And then to swap, you swap that position like so, and you repeat, splay your toes over like that, feel that pressure through the metatarsal heads, and then back foot up into extension, eyes facing forward, balancing, closing your eyes if you're up to it. If that makes you step off though, then just go back to eyes open. For, a, for an intermediary challenge between eyes open and eyes closed, you could also play with just looking around a little bit with your head or just your eyes. So looking up, looking left, looking right. That's usually enough to get some more of those wobbles going, but just work within that capacity of being able to maintain the stance for a full minute. Once you've done your minute on each side, you can move on. So next up, we're moving on to big toe stance. So that is where the big toe is actually lined up in the middle of the soulmate. And then from there, you're trying to keep all of these other toes up. So it's kind of like that alternating lift that we just practiced, but this time you're actually trying to balance on the soulmate like so. Now the ideal is to do that in single leg. So this other leg is free like that, and you're just balancing, eyes looking forward, and this is really teaching that big toe planting, because if you lose that big toe plant, then obviously you fall off. If you can't quite do that single leg stance, you, while balancing, you could set up against a wall and just tap the wall, or tap the wall in front of you, or you can just go back to split, but this time, the front leg is just in that big toe stance, the back leg is exactly the same as before, but you just want most of your weight on the front foot and that will really start to load the arch. You'll start to feel that and it's teaching you that really good planted big toe position. So building up to a full minute on one side Swapping to the other side, of course, if you get tired or if it gets crampy and you need to have a rest within that minute, just rest, get back on and do, the, do a full minute total including rests and build up to being able to do the full minute without rests. So if this is sort of wobbling down and coming back up, that's fine. Like if the toes are coming down like that as you're balancing, that's okay but over time you'll build up more stability so that you can just hold this position. And then you might even, if you're in split stance like so, you might even just lift up a little bit and then touch back down. Lift up, touch back down, and so on. Eventually building up to this full single leg stance on the big toe. Once you've done your minute on each side, move on to the next one. So last one is ninja stance. So bringing your soulmate halves in line now, you might wanna set up against a wall in front of you or next to you, because this can be pretty challenging on the balance. And what we're doing is placing forefoot on the middle part of the soulmate, and then your toes are wrapping over. And you're actually squeezing with your toes to help you balance. 
So just getting your stance here, lifting the heels off the ground, that can be challenging enough and you'll probably find that you're touching down with the heels and touching with your hands on the wall if you are next to one. And that's completely fine. Just focus on squeezing with those toes. This is a lot about that toe flexor strength, which is a really important balance strategy as you'll learn. So gripping with the toes in this context is great. If you fall off, step back, get back on. But obviously if you've got that wall in front of you, then that will help you stop falling forward. And over time you could go further and further away from the wall. Now, two minutes total for this, but as always, if you need to step off, have a bit of a rest, shake your feet out, whatever you need to do, step back on. And another variation you could play with is just sort of walking along the soulmate side to side in this ninja stance. So you take a little step with one foot and then a little step with the other. Step, 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 step. This just gives a brief, very brief amount of time with only balancing on one foot as you step. So that's a great way to progress the difficulty. And over time, as always, less and less support and less and less rest in your two minutes. Each time you do this routine, just try and improve in one of those areas. And once you've done your two minutes in your ninja, that's your routine wrapped up. And if you're liking these videos and getting value out of them, please like and subscribe. We do release them very regularly. And if you want more structured guidance and live calls and community, we do have our Explorer membership that you can check out through the link in the description below.